Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my very first YouTube video. Yay. I'm so excited to start filming my love for makeup for you guys. I am also a cosmetologist so I'll probably throw in some hair clips and tutorials, some how to's for you um, later on. I love bright and colorful looks and I had a little bit of a struggle trying to figure out what I wanted to do for my first video but I thought bright, colorful, something that would just describe me 100% and this is what I came up with. I hope you guys enjoy this look just as much as I do and please subscribe, check out all my social media which I will link below. I will talk to you soon again. Bye guys. Hey guys, so I've already prepped and primed my skin and done my brows off camera just to save a little bit of time. I am going in with my Morphe 35C palette in this orange shade. And I'm going to start off by placing it in my crease pretty heavily with a Morphe M411 brush. And I'm just going to go in and keep packing this on my crease and blending it out as much as possible just until I get the amount of color payoff that I want. And then I'm gonna take a clean scone blending brush and I'm just gonna go back over all of that so that I'm cleaning it up and getting um, rid of any harsh lines. This is a great tip for just making sure that everything is really well blended. And then I'm going to go in with this pink purpley shade. I love this color so much. I switched brushes and started using an M506 in my crease. And I'm just going to keep applying the color to my crease until I get the most color payoff that I want. Eventually I'm going to have to go back over this just a little bit because it can disappear after you go over your lid with a different color. So I'm not too perfect with everything right now because I'm going to clean it up later on. And after all that's blended out, I'm going to go back in with a pinky shade. And I'm going to place this in my crease just to brighten it up a little bit more. And now I'm just picking up a clean Sonia Kaushik brush and cleaning up everything so I don't have any harsh lines. And then I'm on my lid, I'm going to place this NYX Jumbo Crayon Pencil and it's in the color Milk. And I'm just going to push this all over my lid and then go back over to clean it up with a synthetic brush to really carve out my crease. I'm going to go in with this purple shade in a MAC 242 brush and I'm just going to pack this all over the lid on top of the carved out white that I've laid down. And I pull my eye taut just because I feel like it gives me less fallout and I'm able to really pack on more product if my eye is a little bit stretched. Thank you. 
So then I'm going to go back in with my Morphe M506 brush and just pack on this orange again. This falls back into when I told y'all that sometimes you can lose the color payoff when you're blending so much. So I just like to go back in and make sure that everything's touched back up. I'm not really making this super perfect right now because I'm going to go back in and clean it up. Then I'm going to go back into that pink and purple shade again because I love it so much and I really wanted it to stand out. A lot more. So now I'm going to take NYX Luminator in the shade Ritualistic and my MAC brush again and I'm just going to clean up where the product has gone up to my brow bone. Sometimes you tend to go too high and so if you do do that you can just go back over with like a bone color, a white shadow or an illuminator like this and just clean it up and make sure that everything is sharp. And for my eyeliner today, I'm going to use the NYX Matte Black Liquid Eyeliner. And this is kind of a dupe for the NYC Liquid Liner just because they don't make that anymore. So I found this one. Um, Crispy actually talked about it in her videos. And so I went out and bought that. I love it. Um, it's just as good as NYC and it applies just the same also. So to clean it up and to make sure that your wing is just as sharp as it could be, I go in with a makeup wipe and I just clean everything up, including the shadow that has fallen down past it. Next, I'm taking my Doucet Max Lash Volumizer Mascara. I am obsessed with mini mascaras and I do not know why. I just love them. Um, I think that the brushes are great and this one in particular that I got in my Ipsy bag is really good too. So I'm going to coat my top lashes and then I'm going to go in with some falsies. These are the Vegas Nay Eyelure Platinum Princess lashes. I bought them at Ulta. I think they're about $12 and I'm just using a duo lash glue. I like pushing my lashes on with my fingers pretty much. I just think that they attach better and they last a little bit longer. They feel more comfortable when I'm um, pinching them. And I just trim them at first and then I just place them to my eye after I let the glue set for just a little bit. For primer today, I'm going to use NYX Angel Veil. I am not a huge primer person, but I do really like a primer that blurs out my pores. And I do think that with my foundation, it does really, really well. The foundation that I'm using today is Maybelline Fit Me in the number 112. I love this foundation for a good drugstore cheap foundation. It's really, really good. I love it so much. And I'm using an Eco Tools sponge. This has a flat side that I like to use to blend out concealer and or bake. And then I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light. And I'm just now realizing how white this made my face. I did get a tan at the beach, so this probably wasn't the best shade for me to use. But we're going to roll with it. This concealer is amazing. If you are looking for an awesome, very full coverage concealer, I highly advise for you to go buy this. Everyone's been raving about it, and now that I've bought it, I see why everyone makes it 
it's such a big deal. Now I'm going to set everything with my Stay Matte Foundation Powder by NYX. If you want something that's like more full coverage, um, going over with a matte foundation powder is really, really great if you want that extra coverage. And then I'm going to bake again under my eyes with my Eco Tools sponge and using my Laura Mercier powder again. And I'm just going to set everything under my eyes so that they don't crease. So while I bake, I'm going to take my Lorac Pro Palette in the shade Medium and this e.l.f. contour brush. I think it was like $3. Their brushes are really great too. I really like them. But mostly while, why I use a powder before is just because I hate when I go in with my contour and it sticks. So if I have a powder that's set on my face first and then go over with my contour, I just think it does a lot better as far as blending. Forehead. And I'm using a brush. It's like a Lisa Frank brush. I don't know, but those brushes are the cutest brushes ever. and They're very colorful. I love it. And next I'm going to go in with that really pretty purple pink shade and I'm just going to take that 506 brush and put it under my eyes so that I get some more definition. I really love that color so I was like I want to add it again. Then I'm going to go in with my Douce mascara again and just coat my lashes, my lashes, my lashes again for that final touch. And so after I talk to myself for a minute I'm going to go in and set my brows so they don't move throughout the day with a Rimmel brow gel. I really want to get the Anastasia one because I heard it was really good, but um, I just have not picked it up yet. So I will use that in another tutorial. And then for the best part ever, I'm going to take that NYX Illuminator in Ritualistic again and just glow myself up in my tear ducts, my cheeks, and right when you think you're done, you're going to add more again. This color is really pretty. It's very golden, iridescent. Um, looks really good with this look and very inexpensive. And then I'm going to fill in my lips with NYX Lip Suede Lip Liner. I think this is the color natural. I'm not exactly sure, but I will list it below for you guys. The only bad thing about these lip liners is that they kind of break on you as you're putting them on. So if you see me wiping it, it's because it's breaking on my lips and that drives me crazy. And last but not least, I'm going to go in with a NYX lipstick in the color Strawberry Daiquiri. This color is probably one of my favorites. I love it. Alright guys, this is the finished makeup look. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on my very first makeup tutorial ever. And please subscribe. Thank you so much for wa watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.